Imagine a world where you never have to sharpen your pencil again, where you can draw without interruption of pencil maintenance. Well, in today's video, we are about to explore a revolutionary solution that claims to be the answer to every artist's dilemma. The everlasting wow. pencil. It's a bold statement and I'm here to put it to test. Is it a game changer that will have a good impact on your art or is it simply too good to be true? Let's find out together. And here it is, the everlasting pencil. As you can see, it looks very similar to any other pencil with a shape that's quite familiar. However, the material it's made of is a bit different. It is constructed from metal and feels a bit heavier in your hand compared to a regular pencil. The most significant difference from traditional pencils is this tip that can be replaced and it's supposed to last forever as the name suggests. Normally, you shouldn't have to replace it if it's so-called everlasting pencil. However, we'll see more about that as we move forward. Let's take a look at what the seller claims it contains and what benefits it offers. I have taken a screenshot of the properties of this pencil from the Amazon listing where I purchased it, which states the following. They claim that the tip is made out of graphite and never needs sharpening, which saves a lot of time. It's very comfortable, it does the work of 159 regular pencils, the tip can be replaced and it's eco-friendly. If you want, you can pause the video and read the whole thing, but I've just summarized what they're saying in general. Now, let's talk more about the special lid, the core of this pencil. This unique lid is designed to maintain its point and this is what sets the pencil apart from the traditional options. As mentioned above, it seems a little suspicious to me that someone would call a pencil everlasting when it comes with replacements. It seems more reasonable for the name to be long-lasting sharp tip rather than eternal pencil which can mislead a lot of people. Now, let's talk about something that's crucial for many artists. Cost effectiveness. The price of this pencil was almost $6 and it came in a set of two with four spare tips. It doesn't seem very expensive to me for what it's supposed to do, like never running out. When it comes to this pencil, it's not just about its unique design and performance. It's also about the potential savings it could offer in the long run. Just imagine. You are a dedicated artist who goes through a pack of traditional pencils regularly. You keep buying new pencils, sharpeners and erasers. It all adds up. As claimed by its investors, this pencil is said to be equivalent to 159 regular pencils. So, if a standard HP pencil costs $1, you should theoretically save $159 just on the pencils alone, not to mention the savings on sharpeners. And let's not forget about the time saves. With this tool, there's no interruption for sharpening, so you can focus more on your art. Time is money, and this pencil can help you save both. So what's the buzz around the everlasting pencil? The key selling point is its claim of never needing sharpening, thanks to a special lid that maintains its point. But does it truly deliver on this promise? The moment of truth has arrived. I'm going to create a basic round shape to shade it. My objective is to determine how easy can this pencil be applied on the paper. Although the description of this item states that the tip is made out of graphite, I didn't get the feeling that it is. It glides too easily on the paper, making it difficult to apply uniform pigment. Even when I tried turning it to cover a larger area, I encountered the same issue with slipping. In the end, I managed to cover as much of the sphere as possible, but with a lot of difficulty and pain in my wrist. So this pencil failed the layering test. Just like in the previous demonstration, I will use the same sphere, but this time I'll attempt to create shading. Even with shading, 
I didn't have much luck. This pencil requires a lot of pressure to create contrast and after pressing as hard as I could, I noticed it started to damage the paper, so I had to stop. Even when I tried to apply gentle pressure for a smooth transition between the light and the dark, there was no noticeable difference as if the pencil wasn't even touching the paper. In the end, it turned out somewhat acceptable, but the process of getting there was unpleasant and the result wasn't as beautiful as I hoped. So, unfortunately, this pencil failed the shading test as well. All well and good up to this point, but I really want to see if I can erase it easily. Those from whom I purchased it claimed that it can be erased very easily with a regular eraser. And they were right, they didn't lie at all. From the moment I applied a bit of pressure with the eraser, the pencil erased immediately without any effort. Even when I applied more pressure, I almost managed to erase everything, leaving the paper without a trace so I was pleasantly surprised at how easily it could be erased. Therefore, it passed the erasing test with flying colors. Honestly, this test seems to be the most successful, indicating that this pencil is most suitable for sketching. Since it doesn't have a very high hardness, even if you press harder when sketching, the difference isn't very noticeable. As we saw earlier, it can be easily erased making sketching easily correctable. The metal body makes it heavier in hand, which can be a bit of a drawback as it puts pressure on your hand and might make you press harder at times, but I got used to it after a while. Overall, it was really fun and easy to sketch with this pencil. So, another succeeded test. But the big question is, can it tackle more intricate and detailed artworks? I'm going to take it to the next level to examine if it can handle a more complex drawing such as this piece of watermelon. Here was the greatest challenge and the most important one, namely, can this pencil handle a complete drawing from shadow to highlights to very small details and contrast? I can tell you right away that there were moments when I was pleasantly surprised while drawing this piece, but also moments when I wanted to give up on continuing. What surprised me from the beginning was how easily the blending stamp reacted to this pencil and I managed to achieve decent shading with it. It spread quickly on the paper and left no trace behind. When I tackled the details, my wrist started to scream in pain. Although I pressed as hard as I could at times, I still couldn't achieve the contrast I seek in all my drawings, indicating once again that this pencil is suitable only for sketching or something very quick with few details and contrast. In the end, I managed to achieve some realism and contrast, but everything still seems a bit blurry, lifeless, which no one wants to see in a drawing. Those two seeds in the drawing were my last hope that I could create something close to a dark grey, but even though I pressed very hard again, this pencil couldn't handle it and left traces behind, not achieving the flawless black or dark grey seed effect. What helped a lot in the realism of this quick drawing was the ability of this pencil to be quickly erased, creating some good highlights that took away a bit of that blurred and lifeless effect. In conclusion, I wouldn't use this pencil for a complete drawing ever again, but it would always be welcome when creating a sketch. Unfortunately, this last test of details was also failed by this pencil. And now the question remains, does the everlasting pencil truly lives up to its name? While it may not last forever, in the absolute sense, it has its benefits. It's especially good for artists who love a consistently sharp point without the hassle of frequent sharpening. From what I've experimented in this video, it seems to me that it's a great tool for creating sketches, but when it comes to a more complex drawing or adding contrast, it can't achieve the darkness of, for example, an 8B pencil. Of course, a mechanical pencil also has a fine point that only creates thin lines, but it doesn't hurt to have this miracle pencil, in quote marks miracle, in your drawing kit. Well, there you have it, the everlasting pencil. It's not quite magic, nor forever lasting, but it's something very innovative and interesting. 
If you are tired of the endless pencil sharpening and want to give this pencil a try, this might become your new best friend when it comes to sketching. Have you tried the everlasting pencil? What are your thoughts and experiences? Please share your experiences and stories in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all my future videos. Thank you for joining me on this experiment and remember, stay creative, keep pushing boundaries and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, happy creating!